All right, so Bronnier Stump by Led Zeppelin. This is from Led Zeppelin III, released in 1970. And I've had a ton of requests to do this song. I did Bronnier um, a few years ago, but people really seem to be interested in this song. So I'm doing it today. Um, and if you click that I in the corner or the link in the description box or the first pinned comment, there's a link to my website there. And that's really the best place to watch all my stuff because it's really... Uh, and I think it's really well organized there and it's easy to find stuff um, and plus I do little articles on all these songs that I uh, do tutorials on with like song facts and uh, just maybe interesting things that have happened during the recording or whatever um, anyways let's get into this one there's a ton of stuff to cover first of all it's the tuning we're in open F tuning for this one I'll put the tuning down here but uh, we've got the low E's down to a C the A's down to an F D strings down to a C, the G strings down to an F, the A, uh, <laughs> the B strings down to an A, and the E strings down to a C. So that's an F chord there, right? Um, and we we're not playing that low E most of the time. It's just a five string. Okay, so we're gonna start out with this uh, pattern, harmonics on the twelfth, and then. Harmonics on the seventh, but we're going to play that open low E string. And then we've got this leg. All right, and this section of the song, the intro, is by far the hardest part to play. It's really dependent upon this hybrid picking that Jimmy Page uses. And, you know, to be honest, um, if you listen to that Burt Jantz song called The Wagoneer's Lad, <laughs> this is kind of where Jimmy got this from, right? Um, you know, a lot of his stuff, he was heavily influenced, you might say, right? Other people would say other things, but whatever. Um, that's kind of where it came from. So if you give Wagoneer's Lad a lesson, it's, more, it's banjo, but it's the same thing, right? And the picking on this is... Okay, so we've got those harmonics, and then we're going to go ninth fret D string and 8th fret B string, and we're going to go... So that's the D string, and then the open high E, back to the D string. And then the open A. That's how I like to think of this lick. And it's all the pick, you know the pick? Pick is going to be on the D string and your middle finger on the E string and the B string. And then there's two extra notes to finish it off. The high E and the D string. So all together it's... So you got the harmonics. That's your first lick. And it's, you know, it's the hybrid picking. And now we're going to go. And then we're going to get into this main kind of hybrid picked lick, which is. And that's going to be that same figure, uh, D9 and B8. So it's D string, high E string. And then G, G string and B string. So it's kind of, if you think of those four strings, it's the two outside strings and then the two inside strings. Like that, right? So. Now, um, you don't need to hybrid pick this. If you can do this with your pick, like. There's a different sound. When you, if you use a pick, you're going to get a more even sound. If you use hybrid picking, you know, that finger, your fingernail going back on that E string is going to get a different sound than the pick. Finger, pick. So it, it doesn't matter which way you do it, but that's the lick. And we 
finish off that first one by sliding down uh, the D string two frets and then we're open G. So. And now we just repeat that. Except we've got an extra high E in there. That does that a bunch of times. I think it's three times. First time. And now we're going to come down to here and we're going to fret. It's like um, uh, G4 and B3 with that open E string. And we're going to go. So we're pulling off uh, G4. And this is all with your pick. Although, you could hybrid pick this too. And I think, it's hard to say. I think Jimmy Page actually does throw in some hybrid picking in this part. So I did it all with a pick. So two pull offs. And then a hammer from D open to D2. That's your first figure. And now the next one is. Just pulling off the fourth and then pulling off the second of the G. And then your next figure is. be three pull offs of that G4. All right, so all three of those together would be. And now we're going to go. All right, so we got those hammers on D2 and G2. Down up, down on the G, up on the high, and you're also going to be, you know, the upstroke, you're going to be getting that B string too. So, do it again. Now, there you could go, you could hybrid pick that again. to mess with this song and find a way that works for you like I flat picked that whole section so from here all right and now we're gonna go Okay, and that, that part there is actually a bar of 3-4 because the song is in 2-4. So we're adding an extra beat. So from here... Da, 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 da. One and two and... And then we're going to bar on the third, bar on the fifth. It's you know, and the, the strumming patterns on this, like I'll have a tab for this, and the strumming patterns will be on that tab. Um, and the strumming patterns make a big difference. And, you know, I can sort of, you know, demonstrate it, but I can't explain every strum. So you just have to get a feel on it, right? Okay, so from here. Go 
goes into that little section and that, you know, I'm, I'm putting my finger there on uh, a high E string fifth fret. I think he does that. It's hard to tell, but I think I can hear that in that section. And the rhythm on that is... You know, just down up, but we just... We're kind of accenting downs then ups, right? It's really a feel thing. This whole song is a feel thing. And then we get into this main lick, so. And that is, you know, we're just getting that feel. And we're going, pulling off uh, D3 to open on the down stroke and then on the up stroke we're hitting A3 to A open and then we're doing that on E3 to open A so That is the real, you know, feel kind of thing. And now we're going to get into the singing, and it's going to go like this. So we're up on the fifth fret, and, and the rhythm on that is. Boom, ba, tick da tick da right? And now we're going to go. So what I'm doing is I'm using my third finger there because I like to get the support of my second finger pushing down my third finger. You don't have to do it that way, right? Depends on how your hands are. You could just do that. And you could still use that second finger for support. So we're just going chromatic, right? Three, four, five. And what I do is because the bass in that part is trailing down I do that on the guitar I'm not so sure if he's actually doing that on the record open five open five and another slide da -da -da -da. on the third and on my demo I just sort of little put a bend in that You know, I just sort of thought that sounded good. So. Repeat. this okay and the timing on this is nuts and it took me a while to get this because I've never played this song before and I'm sure it'll take most people a while to get this so um, we're gonna start here on the second fret and it's like ding da tick da ding da tick da. Now we're gonna go up to the fifth fret and we're gonna do this lick. And to me, that's the most important lick if you're gonna play this song, because that sets you up for the timing of the next bit. So But with chord, that chord. And now we've got open three, five, open with that little rhythmic feel. So
Da -da -da. That part there screwed me up for so long trying to figure that out. But if you figure that, like the counting, da da bum bum ba bum bum ba 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 bum ba bum 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 bum. If you notice there, there's a little, there's a rest, there's an eighth note rest. Dun 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 da dun dun. Dun 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 da dun dun rest bum bum bum. I do that one more time because I, I don't know maybe it's just me but this really messed me up. So from here. Rest bum bum bum. Okay, uh, you know, that really helped me when I figured out that little rest there. Uh, hopefully it helps you. So let's do that whole little bit there. your next bit so we've got it's just down up down up so 12th fret I'm just fretting the, the last three strings and then three five open and they do it again but he sort of he does a couple of different rhythms there so I did the first one the first time and the second one the second time so the second time I went instead of going I went I'm not sure if that's exactly right but it's pretty close and we're right back into this I mean that does in my demo I shortened everything right but that goes on for quite a while and then we're back into this going to go back to the beginning. So we've got that 12th fret harmonic, 7th fret harmonic. Okay, and like I said, you can either use a pick or hybrid pick that. And then he does it like this. He slides every time on that uh, D string. Now we've got, okay, so, do it again, It just kind of goes wild there. So, um, now, and it would do it again. Da, 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 da. And that goes five times. You do that like five times. So. One, two, three, four, five. And then we've got three, five again, right? And then. And then we've got this kind of crazy 
uh, muted kind of lick. Um, it's hard for me to play this slow, but let, let me just take it from there. Uh, so. <laughs> So it's just deck it, 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 Now the last time. He kind of does this muted thing, and I know I'm not doing it exactly like he is there because, <laughs> you know, you'll find that when you do this kind of stuff, you you just naturally will put your own spin on it, your own stamp on it, because strumming is like, it's impossible to copy someone strumming exactly. Right? So... That's what I did. It's like triplets, you know, playing triplets on drums. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we're back into it, and then we do all, you know, the verses. And pretty well everything is a repeat after that. Okay, so that's pretty well it for all the parts of this one. Um, super cool song. Um, really challenging, like way harder than it sounds. Like some sections are... Yeah, that's not too bad, but between the hybrid picking... And the really tight flat picking... And the timing, the weird timing things, um, it's a real challenge to play this song. Well, it was for me anyway, so. I have to calm down after this lesson because <laughs> uh, this is a super hyper song. Uh, there's so much going on and it takes a ton of energy. And I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but um, this pick I'm using, like normally when I do acoustic stuff I use this Dunlop pick here. I don't know if you can see that. Probably won't zoom in on it, but it's on my website. Um, it's a light pick. It's 73 millimeters. Really flexible and bendable. And it just gives you a nice sort of breezy tone on the guitar. But for this, because it's such an aggressive song, I use this super hard one millimeter uh, Tortex with that sharp, you know, see that sharpie there, right? And that really helps you to strum because um, it doesn't bend, so you can be a little more accurate with your strumming. So I'd highly recommend using one of these for a song like this. Alright, so that's it for this one. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I hope you get something out of it. It's a, it's a gas to play, and um, yeah, we'll talk to you next time. Mm -hmm.